Hello YouTube, this is the Outlaw here, uh, bringing you a short little video on how exactly I run DayZ on a laptop. Now I know most of you are saying, you know, well, you you know, it can't be done. Um, it's going to run shitty. Well, to be honest, it, as long as you have at least six gigabytes of RAM and at least a 1.6 gigahertz processor, you'll be perfectly fine and a pretty good graphics card. So um, I'm running a HP Pavilion DV6. Um, it has AMD uh, Radeon HD graphics. Um, my uh, video, my graphics card is a 6620 uh, G series, so a 6000 series. Um, and basically, I downloaded this uh, really cool application. It's called AMD Overdrive, and basically, what this does is allows you to mess with the voltage that your putting through your computer and to the different mechanics in your computer and also to overclock your graphics card. So um, I will put a link in the description um, to uh, the AMD Overdrive download and uh, so we're going to click yes. Um, now it does pop up a warning. It says operating your processor outside of the official AMD specifications or outside the factory settings. Um, and so on and so forth, basically saying they're not liable for anything you do if you decide to burn a hole through your graphics card. Now I'm going to click OK. And again, um, I'm not liable for anything you guys try either. Um, I'm just showing you how I do it and it may help you guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click uh, make this green button with a red circle. Go ahead and click that. Um, and I'm going to go to clock and voltage. Now, what I recommend is, that it, unless you have the same exact graphics card as I am, as I'm running, and the same exact computer, um, I would run an auto clock. The auto clock will show you what your multiplier, how much voltage that you can have in each CPU. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to clock and voltage. Um, I'm going to boost this up to 11.5. Um, that's what I found out I could do in my auto clock. So I'm going to click apply, OK. Um, and now with the voltage, um, use your arrow keys and go up until it hits an orange and then go one down. Now that will be the most voltage you can use before it starts becoming dangerous to your computer. Now I will show you since I have not applied settings yet and it will not affect my computer. You can go all the way up until you start getting into the red. And as you can see up here, it keeps it as a, at a solid 2200 megahertz, 22 to 24 megahertz, but it's also very bad for your computer. You can do a lot of damage and you can hurt it badly. So I do not recommend it. Um, I recommend, you know, doing the least you can to get the most performance, if that makes any sense, without damaging your computer. And as you can see, it's actually running pretty good. Yes, it skips from, you know, 2100 to 1500 back up but still it runs very well. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply and OK. Now the other thing, um, I really don't notice a big difference when I use this. Um, it, it may help, it may not. Um, it's called TurboCore controller or control, sorry. Um, and you're going to go ahead and click enable TurboCore. And as you can see, uh, the target speed is 1000 megahertz and the current value is 2200. So it's running more than the target speed. But we're going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit more. So we're going to go to about 10. Now what this is going to do is it's going to up what your uh, CPU is using. So 200 megabytes and the current value is 2 or 2,000 megabytes and the current value is 2,000 megabytes. It's going to run a lot better. It's multiplying it so you're not using you're not having uh, a thousand megahertz at your CPU and you're running 2000 it's gonna you know make no sense and it's not gonna work so um, you're gonna go 2000 megahertz and then uh, which is times 10 and that'll boost you a oh well and do not mess with this CPU vid down here uh, this is the voltage and uh, you will do some funky stuff if you start messing with that because it will start messing with your screen um, I have tried it before and I do understand that I'm like uh, not exactly sure on the words I'm saying and things like that because uh, I don't know how to explain it but I know what it means and how to do it so please just listen carefully and hopefully I can help you guys out with something um, 
So as you can see here, uh, it's 2300 megahertz and it's going between 1700 to, you know, 2300. Um, it's running pretty well. So you're going to go ahead and press OK. Um, so now your graphics card is overclocked. Um, now the next thing you want to do is uh, for DayZ, you want to go ahead and go into your documents and you want to go into Arma 2 and you want to go to the Arma 2 OA CFG file which is your config file um, now for this uh, this right here uh, your GPU max frames ahead and your GPU detective frames ahead you want to set both of those to one as shown um, I've already done it so that's why it's like that obviously um, and the other thing is if I can find it uh, da, 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 da. it is not on this one so let's go after you do that you want to click file and you want to save and exit now um, if you are um, already have a profile on Arma 2 and Arma 2 DayZ um, go ahead and click on the Arma 2 OA profile you don't, you don't necessarily want to worry about the Arma 2 profile um, since the game runs off Arma 2 OA and uh, so let's go ahead and go to let's go all the way down here um, now the scene complexity and the view distance um, the scene complexity you can lower to um, 10,000 it will help it a lot um, but as far as for my computer I don't have to worry about that a lot um, but I do want to change this terrain grid and I want to change it to 4. Um, basically what that will do is when it's 3D imaging and the 3D mapping and stuff, it lowers it to a 4 grid instead of what you saw there which was a 25 grid. Um, and the other thing is the uh, right here it says FOV left. You just want to put that at a 1.33, so you want to come over here and you want to backspace all the way to 1.33, file, and then save, and then exit. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, I run DayZ with uh, DayZ Commander. Um, that's also a good, very good program to run. Um, I've tried 6 Uploader and uh, it, I don't really like it, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to go into settings. Um, I was running this in window mode um, for recording purposes only, so I'm going to go ahead and unclick that. Um, now I'm going to click done. So I'm going to go to recent. I'm going to go ahead and join uh, the server I've been playing on. Um, I'm also going to give a uh, shout out to uh, a friend of mine who is also a YouTuber and is the admin of this server right here. Um, his YouTube channel is Mr. Green Irish. Um, and uh, you guys should definitely check his channel. I will put a link in the description for his channel as well. Um, he has some pretty awesome servers, um, awesome videos. Uh, you can learn a lot from this guy, so go ahead and check him out. Um, and as you can see, maybe he is on. Yes, he is. He is right here, Mr. Green Irish. So uh, go ahead and click OK. Um, now I'm going to show you the settings that I have, and I will show you what happens as I set it from I'll set it to default and then I'll set it to what I have it at and you'll see a major 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 difference it, it'll it run so much smoother and a lot better now granted it is only about 25 to 30 frames um, and I know you guys with some really high-tech gaming computers and stuff you know run at like 80 to 100 frames well you know, okay I'm just trying to help out the so we are back and I'm gonna show you um, no how I set my settings up on Daisy. Um, now this is me running at the settings that I have uh, currently um, and as you can see it runs pretty smoothly um, when turning there's a little bit glitchy but that may be because of the way I'm moving the mouse also um, so let's go ahead and go press escape uh, you want to go to options video options and then um, Visibility um, for me, I set it at the full. Airport, because I kind of want to kill you. And uh, so you want to go to advanced. Um, 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and set it to default and show you guys what I set um, exactly. Just gonna run press OK. Later, back, continue. Now I'm still running OK um, per se. Um, it's kind of slower. Um, graphics are a lot better, I guess. Um, but as you can tell, it's kind of slow while moving, running, anything. Um, actually, you know, it kind of looks okay right now. Um, and I'm surprised because it's on default. Um, but we're going to go ahead and show you what I use. Um, because this is just one in a lifetime uh, times that it wants to run right for, you know, the purpose of me making this video. Um, so we're going to go to options. Uh, you want to go to video options. Set the visibility all the way up to 10,000. Uh, that'll set your quality performance to very high. Now, um, for the video memory, you want to click default. You don't want to do normal or very high uh, because that's going to force uh, video memory, and you don't want it to do that because it's going to affect your FPS. Um, and you want to go down here to the anisotropic filtering. Um, you want to disable that. Um, and analyzing, um, you want to click disabled. Um, this just lowers uh, some of the effects and helps FPS um, because, again, FPS is frames per second. So, um, and the post uh, process effects, you want to go ahead and, and disable that also. Um, and as you can see, uh, if you look at the trees, um, all it does is change the trees um, and the effects behind those. Now, when you disable it, it takes away some of the shadows and stuff in the trees. Um, not a lot. And for aspect ratio, um, I usually use the 16:9 wide, um, only because my laptop is a widescreen. Okay. And uh, the V-Sync, you want to keep that disabled. Um, and interface size, uh, go to very small. Um, that seems to help me out a lot. Um, you can also do, uh, you know, normal or large, uh, but normal and large don't necessarily fit with the 16.9 uh, wide. So I just go ahead and click very small. For the or tank small. that's uh, coming to the guy that's and shooting in the ghillie, please don't butter man. I, uh, love Come you. Come on, man. Shut up. I love Kay. you very much. Don't you get me And seat now you want to go to uh, objects detail. No. You want to go low. low. I love you. And shadow detail, you want to click disabled. Uh, that'll just take right, shadows away. Put me in. I'll for uh, you. And now you want to go to terrain detail and click very low. So now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And later, back. And as you can see, I'm running much smoother. Um, There's a, a lot better, there. higher FPS. Um, right now I'm running about at least a solid 35 to 40 FPS. Um, before I was only running about 20. Um, and as you can see, you can still see just as far. Um, the water still looks real, the trees, the vehicles. So uh, yeah, this is it for this video guys. Um, if you have any questions, uh, if you want um, me to do it on a different laptop to show you um, how to improve uh, the quality on those kind of laptops, uh, just hit me up with what kind of laptop uh, and the specs on it and I'll try and get a hold of one. Um, so yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe to the video. See you guys later. Yo, Irish, are you here?